school bus drivers here in Charles County, Maryland, and the independent contractors that employ them both say today it is time for the school system here to pay up. Here are some of the drivers today. And we're not getting anything, pretty much. Are you willing to walk on the 28th? I am. We do this for them. Adam Dyson is owner of bus company Swan Transportation. My employees have said, I need job security. I need the security of an eight-hour day. I have to do what my workforce wants to do. And so if they say, hey, I, I can't move forward under this agreement, then my answer to them is okay. Today, the 24 independently owned local school bus companies that cover the vast majority of school bus routes here in Charles County warned their employees will not work for what Charles County Schools so far is willing to pay the companies. Complicating matters, some of the drivers have joined the Amalgamated Transit Union, which is demanding additional pay and benefits. The contractors operate more than 350 buses compared to the school system's smaller fleet of just 30 school buses. But the county's drivers get a guaranteed eight-hour day and better wages and benefits. The school system here has offered a 5% raise and a seven-hour day for the contract drivers. But those drivers say anything less than a guaranteed eight-hour day and the same pay and benefits that the system pays its own core of drivers just isn't right. Moms like Pascal Small support the protesting independent drivers and they're ready for anything on the first day of school. What if you're on the 28th and the bus doesn't come? Do you drive your kids to school? Nope. What's going to happen? We're staying home. We're staying home? Charles County has nearly 28,000 students and they had to go back to virtual learning during 2021 when the drivers here staged a five day sick out over a lot of the same issues, which are still not resolved. In Charles County, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Late today, the school system proposed a 45-day period to come up with a new contract. The transportation companies say that doesn't break the impasse and they'll do what their drivers demand. Meantime, just 10 minutes ago, the school system announced it's going to have a virtual meeting tonight at 6. So we'll let you know what comes out of that.